Round cam curbs are available in 5 inch and 7.5 inch diameters. The proper size of cam curbs are determined by having a minimum of 1 inch space between the inner wall of the cam curb and the outside edge of the roof penetration. A 5 inch cam curb can accommodate pipes up to 3 inches in diameter. A 7.5 inch cam curb can accommodate a single pipe up to 5.5 inches or multiple pipes providing there is 1 inch space between the pipes. The roof surface has already been swept clean and there is no loose aluminum roof coating that needs to be removed with a wire brush. To ensure proper bonding of the roof penetration, put a thin skin coat of Duralink around the entire circumference of the roof penetration and seal around the base. This serves as a primer coat and acts as an additional seal. The skin coat shall extend from the base up the penetration a minimum of 3 inches, which is 1 inch higher than the E-curb. This enables consultants and other roof inspectors to verify the primer skin coat was applied. It is very important never to use asphalt primer to prime the penetrations. Asphalt or concrete primer acts as a bond breaker. After the surfaces have been prepared, the chem curbs can now be installed. Take the first section and apply a quarter inch bead of M1 structural sealant around the entire bottom perimeter and a bead down the center. Position the section in place and press the component section down firmly, spreading the sealant beads on the bottom of the flange. Follow the same procedure for the other half, making sure to press the flange down firmly against the roof surface. Apply a bead of M1 structural sealant around the entire outside base perimeter, including the vertical fitting joint, making sure to seal all voids. Hand tool the sealant bead with a wooden tooling stick that is provided, making a clean and neat seal. Now that the chem curb has been installed, it is ready to be filled with portable sealer. Since this roof has a very low positive slope, a chem link self-leveling sealer can be used to fill the large chem curb. When installing large rectangular or, or oval chem curbs, it is recommended to allow the assembled chem curb to cure for one hour to allow the M1 structural sealant to gain strength before filling the chem curb. This is due to the hydrostatic pressure of the liquid pourable sealer. The most efficient use of time is to assemble a few large chem curbs and then when completed drop back and fill them later. This pourable sealer offers the following features and benefits. Single component saves mixing labor. It's 100% solvent free and cannot shrink. It's odor free, it's very flexible, cannot freeze. It eliminates mixing and human error and unused portions and containers can be sealed and reused, eliminating waste. One part pourable sealer is available in half gallon foil pouches, 28 ounce and 10.1 ounce plastic cartridges.